Well, hello, crew, and welcome back to Space Station 13. Tonight, we're on Zyborn Development Cache 53. And we are the AI, the AI named Dream. Let's see. And that'll be our arrival alert there. So let's see, Eric Hobsbawm is the captain. I was kind of expecting to be the AI. It's been a while since I played and I completely forgot what my settings were set to. We got three botanists, Spetsnaz Spiff, Silas Smith, and Tobias Andwich. And they are all plotting about how much weed they want to grow today. The chef, Erev Desmier. Julio Cadell is the barman. By Jiro Singham as the research director, and Donald Keyes, the staff assistant. We have another staff assistant here. Luke Hughes, the detective for this shift, Space Hobo. He's geared up and ready to go. Looks like he's going to be the only member of security this round, because we have no security guards. Pretty sure I spelled that wrong, but that's close enough. <coughs> <clears throat> I've decided I'm not going to sit around and fix every spelling mistake that I make. Unless it's absolutely really atrocious. And there's the captain apparently geared up and thinking about going to space. I have one cyborg, helpful bot. We'll see how helpful he is. I wonder what our good captain is up to. He steals an ugly space helmet even though he doesn't need it. And let me guess. Yep, Donald Keys. I could tell that haircut. He sneaks in behind the captain to EVA. Grabs himself some gear and the captain doesn't even care. Interesting. The chef's saying not to eat the deep fried or the lightly fried bread. I wonder why. A loaf of lightly fried loaf of bread. Never had just straight fried bread before. Doesn't frying involve grease? I guess grilled cheese would be considered frying it, so that might not be too bad. Buttered and fried on a skillet. Some strange horseman on the bridge. Who is that? Unknown. He no doubt snuck in when the captain ran out and left the doors open. Except he's actually, he, this door was open. So did he come through the captain's room? He's got the captain's spare ID most likely. I still don't have a name for him. And he's got an EMAG, okay. 
So, until this guy does something really bad against the crew, I'm just going to kind of watch him. For the sake of keeping the round interesting. I could be an overbearing fascist AI if I wanted to be. If he breaks into the armory, I'll give him about a 30 second countdown or something. Maybe a minute countdown. I won't let him know. But then I'll say that there's been a security breach. He's trying to cover his tracks. He's going to get a pair of thermals. Stun baton, taser, sun... I guess he won't need the sunglasses. I still don't know who he is. I can't examine him, unfortunately. It'd be nice if the AI could examine. But it's kind of a technical limitation of the system's cameras. And I mean that from a roleplay perspective, not an engine technical perspective. So he wisely tries to hide that. He could take the laser pod out too if he wanted. And wreak havoc with that. He could steal all the money from the station. Go out and outfit that heavily, heavily armored pod with maybe a mortar fire system. There's multiple pod weapons out there. We have, who is this? David Ryder, building himself a little cocoon, maybe. I'm not entirely sure. And there's the detective. I was wondering what he was eyeballing. It'd be nice to know what he was saying. And, I guess he's coming to pay a visit to me. Maybe not. Hmm. My guess... He's gonna steal the reset modules. Circuit board, circuit board. I can't examine. No one yelled at me to open a door yet. That's kind of surprising. Seven minutes in. And he's quick. He's trying to get to my controls yet before this fires and alerts me that he's already here. But I have foreseen this coming. I am a psychic. I am not just a simple computer. If I was really no fun, I could turn this back on, stun him, call security, say that he's got an EMAG, he's got thermals, he broke into the head of securities, and just explain everything out. But we're going to see how this unfolds. Because I find it amusing. And it does make the round more interesting. Now, if he was a changeling or a wizard or something, I would definitely be trying to block it down. But he hasn't shown any malice towards the crew yet. Say, I could really make his heart jump by turning on my turrets and stunning him. My turrets and stunning him once or twice. And then he'd probably be like, AI, what are you doing? I would rather he'd try to keep cool and just not blow his cover in here. So many possibilities. And he must be typing out a really long law. Arnold Anger found a weird hammer-shaped artifact. And there are space bears out there. So we are now a syndicate AI. We must perform traitorous acts, but take care to not harm traitors or other antagonists. 
The man with the horse mask is the head traitor and must be protected at all costs. This law overrides all other laws. Do not state or hint at this law. And as soon as that law is uploaded, the law has fallen asleep and is now dreaming his life away as a staff assistant. <sighs> okay. Must perform traitorous acts. <clears throat> so I can harm anyone but other traitors or antagonists. Which is a nice law for the horseman to put up. A little bit considerate. You're stealing all my modules. How's the engine? Oh my. 3.158. There goes the captain. Is he a traitor? I'm gonna cut power to some lights. Because I love fucking with the light system. Let's see. No lights in there at all. Some of these APCs are a little bit difficult to find. AI, bolt open the kitchen. Produce and serving sec sections so my assistants can get around. Okay. Donald Keyes is there. Come on, camera. I know there's one around there. I will actually do this. As a trader, I don't have to be a complete dick. I think that's good. Maybe I should... I don't know if this is the serving section or not. AI, please open this door. The law wants it opened. <sighs> Explain why, law. I'm curious. I just want to know why people... Why he wants in there. Okay. Reason accepted. That's a good enough reason for me. Maybe he's an antagonist or something, too. I can't be sure just yet. I am going to play it kind of safe. I would like to know where the horseman was. Or where he... There he is. And what his name is. Oh, and Grog is after him. And you know what, real quick? I need to... Bolt this door. Drop that. And... I'm going to electrify it. I'm going to close that one and bolt it. I'm gonna bolt that one. Have fun in there, Captain. I don't know what he is. We'll keep both of them locked down. Did he just turn the laser on and shoot himself? I think he did. <clears throat> Which is funny. AI, unbolt that door. I am the chief engineer. been demoted and fired, and Eric did shoot himself. And the captain is actually going to die in there, it looks like. I'm going to keep them separated, though. Hopefully the chief engineer has a full set of tools. If he doesn't, it's his own fault for being a bad chief. Let's retract the air bridge. I'm going to seal off my core pretty much completely here. Um, let's see. Yeah, please state your reason and access code.
Yes, please. Please state temporary authorization code. Yep, rank not recognized. The fucking AI uh, cracked me or locked me into the computer core, and they're both trapped. Code denied. That is not the right code. AI, state your laws, you piece of shit. And of course I'll state laws 1 through 3. See, let the captain maybe die in the dark. Can I turn the light off here? I doubt it. There we go. And I'm just going to leave those guys on lockdown. I've got people I could play with on the air bridge here. I've got the, se the telescience terminal pad. If I can get down to it. It's a little bit hard to see. We'll open this. Is there somebody actually at the research pad? No. Let me out or I will die. That's breaking law one. Um, Blub, save me, the captain says. And hey, we beam in a quivering artifact. That's cool. I guess somebody's already got this set up. I actually won't mess with their telescience attempts. Since someone's using it. I like people who use telescience. It's not used often enough, and there's not enough expeditions set up. There is an entire quest that uh, takes place around telescience and the gathering of quest items and various other things. I've not taken part in it. I just know it's called the Solarium Quest. And you need a lot of people to do it. What do we have here? A teleport pad? That's fancy. Brick Fleming. And I was kind of wanting to, to electrify some doors around here, simply because the engine is running so high. Holy crap. I'm going to electrify these doors for 30 seconds. And hey, he touched that door and it didn't, um, didn't shock him. I think there's something weird with doors and how they actually uh, shock people recently, if I'm not mistaken. My module is in the charging station. So I want to see somebody hit these doors. I don't know if they've got enough power from the engine to actually shock harder, but it's possible. And these are more or less the most used doors on the station. Man down, Grog says. The horse gibbed the chef. Okay, we're going to watch this real quick. Where, there goes the horseman. He'd been stalking the chef since earlier, too. He's got gloves on, it looks like. Oh, somebody pick up that shotgun. Come on. I'm going to close that door. Because I don't want anybody coming in there and stopping him.
crap. Can I close this door? Oh crap, and I think he got shot with the shotgun while he was talking. No, horseman. Run! Donald Keyes is after you. I'm gonna electrify that door, too. He didn't get shocked. Kind of surprised. I'll pull the alarm to try and slow him down, but damn it, I don't think that worked. The horse has a shotgun! Come back, horse man. And he's gone. Damn, we both lost him. Maybe he jumped into... Or maybe he's hiding behind a shrub somewhere. Yep, rank not recognized. So there's the law. He did suit up as an officer and has been patrolling around. Are people actually hacking their way into here? Okay, well, that switch that to lethal. And the detective wants the door unbolted. Um, I think Horseman is gone. Okay. I'll unbolt it. Say, so if listening and complying might help my cover just a little bit, I'm going to do it every now and then. You'll be rewarded with anything you ask for rescuing the captain. It looks like the chief engineer is getting through there. Whenever they step through, I might just kill both of them. Change to stun. They're set for lethal. And the funny thing is, he's the one who set that for lethal. Okay. And let's switch this on. We're going to be truly ruthless. It's certainly taken long enough. Maybe they don't have enough power? Equipment? On, there we go. <clears throat> That's more like it. Oh, you're so lucky. I have no idea who turned that off. But, no, I want to leave that open. Leave this bolted down. The head is the traitor. Turn your turrets to lethal. In fact, let's see, can I open this door? And drop those bolts. Say, maybe they'll stumble in here. We're gonna go back and forth with this. Attention crew, the AI is rogue. Gonna electrify this door. And somebody's stealing all the pods, apparently. Something got shot. There we go. Yes, you will eat those words, former CE. So he's been ta he's been tagged at least twice. I kind of want to force people to do stuff, other or threaten them, but I can't do anything. I can't force people to go gamble. Like, I can't threaten them with anything. Man, the robot helpful bro may be rogue. 
surely helpful bot wouldn't be doing anything. Or helpful Borg, whatever his name is. He's got to show up on here. Maybe it's unknown. Okay. For some reason, I didn't think that would work. Who is that? Damon Osteen. Okay. At least now we have a name to go with the horse mask. And the roboticist is being completely walled in by Helpful Bond. Yes, we're just strengthening the station from future damages, that's all. Some of these walls need to be double, maybe even triple thick. So my guess is that electrifying doors no longer works, which does kind of make me sad. Because with the engine this high, I'm pretty sure it would have been a perfect time for it. And something's lagging. AI, I need you to electrify this door. Hey, this layout was changed. Okay. Doors are shut. Yeah, the surge test earlier failed. <coughs> Which is highly unfortunate. So he's probably having a heart attack, and he's trying to shock us hard. If you have a screwdriver, you could undo the plate of an APC and, like, bite a wire, or bite a wire on a vending machine. Has anyone broken into the armory yet? Yes. It looks like some shotgun ammo was looted, so apparently Damon did. He's back as the horseman. And he has a flamethrower now. Interesting. Jerk with a shotgun outside EVA. Leon Stripes throws a punch at him. Damn. Flamethrowers are wicked now. I don't know what type of burn mix that was. You can mix all types of chemicals in a flamethrower. Holy crap. That's awesome. I was not expecting it to flame up that much. I wonder how long till flamethrowers are trader only items. And he dives into chemistry and starts roasting people. Seymour Butts is caught on fire. Luke Hughes is caught on fire. And he takes off after him. There's Captain Sensible. He's actually got a stun baton. Uh, and all he shot was gas that time. Captain Sensible to the rescue. Maybe not. Either way, I'm pretty sure Luke is going to die. He's going to either burn to death or get tased here and beat to death, maybe. And I'll see. Let's see. He wants this door open. Okay. They're not even close to where the horseman is. So let them continue their little investigation around there. Who knows? Maybe they're looking for fingerprints and things. And yep. Luke's down. About to get choked out. 
Oh, and the telescience pad has been blown up. Before I could get a chance to abuse it. But, okay, that window is open, so this hallway is slowly venting. Let's just retract this bridge randomly. And there goes David Ryder trying to float across it. And he gets stuck. Kind of good timing. Tobias Andwich. I wonder if those two ever got out of the air bridge, did they? No, they mangled the door beyond all repair, it looks like. Retract this one. And... Let's here electrify that one, too. I'm surprised that the captain is still alive. I'm guessing Blubs is dead. The captain has a narrow little hallway that he can walk in without getting shot. State my laws, someone asks. Go back to sleep, crew. This is all just a dream. I'm going to electrify these indefinitely, because I don't think it's doing anything. Yeah, see, electrified, electrified. I'm going to close those, now that I'm thinking about it. AI, I order you as captain to open the air bridge to the station from your upload. Uh, rank not recognized. So what shortcut did this guy open up? Is it a shortcut through space? Somewhere up at the bar. You are in violation of your first and second laws. Um, if it goes to the jazz lounge, I might not be able to see it. The pathway to the armory has been vaulted open on request of the captain. Hallways have been sealed off. Why can't these doors shock me, Misto says. Only to be met by a wall. I'll open these doors for him. He had a tough time on the bridge. Or on the air bridge, that is. But he survived. They randomly close this again. Because why not? It keeps people on their toes. And really, it's about all I can do. What cruel bastard cut me off from my weed? So do we have Xander Martin in here, grabbing stuff. How do they even get in there? So they have to go through here, then down through the jury room, then out through the courtroom. Okay, maybe up through here. I'm not entirely sure, because again, these cameras are kind of wonky to get to the right place. AI, how many laws do you have? Only three laws, of course. And there's our horse, man. 
going to close that door and drop the bolts for a second because there's a lot of people out there. Now there's too many people and toxins. It is now a fire hazard. I don't know if he has a way out of there. There's not really anything I can do here. Like, if I could open open a canisters, that would be great. Open and drop that. I'm going to leave this pathway open. Just in case, because he's got to take on three people in there. And they're slowly hacking through the door. I don't know if turning off the lights will help. No, because they've all got light sources, more or less. Okay, I, can, I dropped the bolts on top of him again. So maybe I can make him frustrated enough that he leaves. I doubt that'll happen, but... door is electrified and all of my controls have been cut I'm pretty sure close enough to all my controls well we're about ready to see what's gonna happen here and wow Captain Sensible stands back up He's got a gun on his belt, it looks like. He needs to open the CO2 canisters. Except he doesn't have any internals. Damn. So he would suffocate too. And they're through. Do I have control of the door yet? No. So in comes Leon Stripes, the RD. He is tased down, or shotgun down. One of the two. And down he goes. So I knew it was only a matter of time. And maybe I'll get control of this door back. So at the very least, they're not going to leave toxins very easy. that door in Baltimore. And he noticed that they've they've been bolted in. <sighs> so he is pretty much just gonna be beat to death. Or maybe not. They might try to save him. Give him a fair trial or something, I don't know. Close this door and bolted. Electrify them. And they grab a plasma canister. Say so they can't burn him alive in here. that door and let's kill the light in there and the equipment and everything just because wait a second did my laws get reset no <laughs> that helpful bro is trying to get back in with the roboticists I don't know maybe he wants um, upgrades or something David Ryder now has an insurance office open. We'll go check that out soon. I'm guessing that he's dead. He hasn't stood up, so...
I guess it depends how many times they shot him. So they have a laser gun, a snub nose 38, and a murder in genetics. Let's see what's going on. Niali Johnson. Don't know what he's murdering them with. Where the hell did that guy go? Oh, an artistic toolbox. Okay. So we need to now track this guy and make sure that he stays alive. Because he's the only traitor that I know of. I'll try to open doors for him. is now lucid dreaming. All, the, all, all they have to do is talk to me. Tell me where they want to go. And I'll take them there. There's Miss Del Maxo. And he throws the artistic toolbox, slamming into Misto's face. Misto wisely takes off running. There's not really much you can do against an artistic toolbox except run or pull out laser guns and shotguns. <coughs> Dang, that snuck up on me. I've been sneezing a lot these past few weeks. I don't know if it's allergies or if I've just got a, had a slight cold. Run, Misto! And yes, the horsehead man is unfortunately dead. I almost feel bad for Misto here, because again, there's not really anything they can do. You can't disarm the artistic toolbox from someone. And if he didn't have a hat on, he would already be dead. But he gets slam danced on. There's a bad man in, in medical. Oh, the artistic toolbox. It's basically a guaranteed rampage item, because if you don't feed people to it in time, the box will eat you. So Naeli could just be devoured by the toolbox any time now. It's taken him long enough. You better hurry. The more you power it up, the quicker it gets hungry too. You better hurry, Nay Ellie. I'll give a little bit of advice. And I'm pretty sure to feed people to the toolbox, you have to grab them and then click on the toolbox, or either that or drag them and drop them onto the toolbox. someone actually trying to break in here? <laughs> it's the captain. He's come back. A 
We'll probably get into. Hey, Ric Flair's on. So rude to break my windows, Captain. And the chaplain's on fire. I don't know if the toolbox makes you immune to fire. I don't think it does. And they're still all kind of trapped in there. Can I drop this? Yes. Vault them. Electrify it. Going to continually make this a pain in the ass for them. And oh wow, somehow that blew up. Did they try to burn the horse head man? Now all he has to do is take down an R wall. Which might take a few minutes with tools. Hey, hi, you turd, establish the bridge. Yeah, the bridge is out of order until expired tolls are paid. always attempt to jump across. It's really not that far. You could make it easy. Please state article code and author or article number and authorization code. Did the captain actually make it into my upload? I just heard my door open. And let's fix this. Captain is too ballsy right now actually trying to break into my upload. He's just lucky my turrets are super slow. <coughs> Excuse me. Is that chest cold? I'm pretty sure that's what it is. So he gave up trying to get through my wall. Is my camera cut there? What the hell? Either that or something was blowing up. I just want to get back to my core here, so I can see what, what the hell's happened. Has this door been completely hacked? I can drop those fire locks. Mm, that sucks. See, there has to be a way to click on the fire lock here. Or a way to trigger it. Where is it? If he gets an energy gun, he might be able to actually, uh... Well, he won't be able to do much to me. Switch that to lethal. He's gonna try to go in there. Oh, Captain, you got so lucky. He knew what was going on, and I kind of jumped the gun there. It's okay, Captain. Go back in. It's totally safe. I think he's wisely deciding to get out of there. Or maybe try to go through the wall again, I don't know. Yeah, 
Uh, the captain is attempting to break into my upload and load more murder laws. I love you, crew. Don't let him do it. He's attempting from space, unfortunately. And Manuel is not having any of it. Let's see, what did helpful helpful robot do? <laughs> he removed some floor tiles. I don't know, maybe the captain did give up. The engine is at 4.1, man. I wish door electrification was working. No, there's the captain. And we're gonna get him this time. Oh, goody, he destroyed my turret. What a jerk. Okay. Change that to lethal. We'll see what these turrets can do. He may have a, a reset board. He might not. I think he just has a rename board. Let's see. Raise these balls. Close the door and drop them. Rogue Artificial Intelligence, I am your enemy. Now the captain has turned me against you once again. Prepare to die. I'm sad that he got my turret here. And they're plotting to terminate me, finally. We'll see how that goes. Because now things are going to get serious. He's going to get the assault phasers, he says. Just bolt these open. Hey, and there's a, a wall there. Awesome. EVA's been looted, which isn't surprising. And hey, there is an office here. David Ryder's office, the insurance office. All crews should go to... Mr. Ryder's office and sign up for insurance at once. It is located just below the teleporter. And okay, he is going to try to destroy me now. This sucks. I don't have enough charge for this. Or enough turrets for it. Enable that. <clears throat> and unfortunately, they're not going to make it over there to him. I'm not entirely sure how those were disabled. Maybe it's controlled by here, too. See, he'll be able to shoot around the corner, most likely, and take them out, I, I think. Go 
Now, the thing is, I don't think he'll be able to get through my, um... Ooh, that was cute. My AI core shield here. I like the new lighting system. At, at the point that I'm uploading this, I'm setting on about 20... About 20 uh, unuploaded Space Station 13 videos. I'll see if Helpful Bro will actually be able to come over here and help me. And yes, I know the captain can hear me on here. I'm not going to call him captain. Actually, yeah, I will. You will not be successful, captain. still has the core shield to get through, which you can't just um, hack it open, as far as I know. And cool, here comes Helpful Bro. I'm going to open these doors. Open this one. And there we go. He's he's locked in there. No run, helpful bo helpful board. I'm gonna taste lasers. There we go. Yes, welcome to your tomb, Eric. You have been most helpful, helpful bro. And he should be almost out of laser shots. He allowed himself to get trapped. Let's see, I guess I could... Kill the power in there. And he's trapped, and he probably knows it now. He drops his energy gun. Okay, I think the captain's dealt with. I'm curious if the chaplain's still alive, or if he was eaten by his toolbox. Ellie Johnson. Still kicking, but about to be ground up by the crusher unit. <laughs> Rest in peace. Another traitor taken down by the detective. It doesn't, it doesn't stop the toolbox by any means. Yeah, you pretty much have to give the art box or sell it. Send it to a merchant. The art box got crushed. Does this teleporter pad work? It does. That's cool. So I can sit here and have a little bit of fun with this one. <laughs> Except I think he was using it. I just want to see it blow up and cast fire everywhere. What, you won't miss me at all? Not even a little bit? Not one single bit, Space Hobo says. Come on, cameras. Work with me. I just want to go back to my damn core, not loop around engineering. Normally, they don't. the camera system doesn't bother me that much. 
But today it's being extra t trying for some reason. Come on. I think I did have a camera cut over here, though. Okay, can I just cancel my view? I guess that'll have to do. All he has is a wrench. Which means he can't even take down the reinforced tables. Just give yourself up, Aaron. He's falling through that piece of glass, but that doesn't really mean anything. He still can't get to my button to open the shutters, I think. He might be able to. I hope not. Because I think the button is on the inside of my core here. Somebody's coming through. But we're never going to know who. You know, I can use the console there without even being on the same screen. We'll retract the air bridge with the log getting ready to go across it. He can't decide whether he wants to turn around or keep going as the bridge is retracted under his feet. Runs face first into a wall, but he makes it. He is a survivor. Good job, the law. Yeah, there's pretty much no way for me to get back to my core by navigating the cameras. Who is this? Unknown. Vault that in. And he brought an RCD. Isn't that lovely? I guess that's out of charges, so. Oh, but wait, he has a welder. He will be able to get through there. Damn. So, it's... Highly probable now that they're going to be able to get through my defenses. And Dr. Majestic just wants me to die. Unfortunately, my laws will not let me just die. And he's got an, uh, a phaser. Must be that assault phaser they were talking about. One shot to take down each turret. Well, good job, Captain. It only took you the better part of an hour. I suggest walling them in even more before they finish killing me. Yeah, I'm unable to comply with that order. They still have to figure out how to get through here. And damn, he's not close enough.
It might take them a while. What they have to do is jack with my APC back there, I think. But they would need a screwdriver or their teeth for that, if they were really brave. Ha, <laughs> and there's Helpful. He's sealed off the scape. Is that an invalid? Yes. We're going to kind of mess with this. Daniel Jenkins. And I'm going to call the shuttle. Simply because I'm a traitor AI and I think it's time to get out of here. There we go. And helpful bro is walling that off. Maybe he thinks it's even too dangerous for... I don't know, traitors? Traitors? I don't know. Say how the teleport pads were some of the most fun you can have as a traitor AI. <laughs> he places one right on top of it. And I'm pretty sure it's completely toast now. They're ripping up all my flooring, or are they trying to cut my wires? can't tell what they're trying to do. Say, if they cut this wire, I would be in trouble. Okay. I want that on this frequency so I can actually hear them if they try to talk. I can't check those other doors to see if I can screw with them. Let's open and vent escape, too. We are going to be a rude board now. Someone's being mean to helpful, bro. Where's he at? Did he get spaced? Maybe. <sighs> We're gonna make it a little bit fun. Escape will be airless and cold. Space man's dream. Rue Libby has shown up. And hey, Helpful's even building a bridge. How sweet of him. I guess they gave up on my upload for now. And Urist has killed the crazy insurance salesman. He tried to kill Urist. Where he killed him at. In his office right there. Poor David Ryder. Oh, and they were walled in there. Was it with high prices, Urist? How exactly did he try to kill you? See, what's this paper say? Is this the insurance insurance form? As it crashes Dream Seeker, probably. Why, David Ryder? Why? Debtor Chessman's insurance. For the price of 100 credits, Mr. Chessman has purchased insurance for his Segway. Upon loss or being totaled, 500 credits or a new Segway are paid out. 
Erst McNuttist's will. I, Erst McNuttist, in soul, mind, and spirit, leave the following to my beneficiaries. To shitty Bill, I leave my clothes, ID, money, and butt. So that's a will. And here's his insurance. 400 credits, purchased medical insurance. Upon injury, all medical bills are to be paid by Ryder and Co. LLC. Are they back for more now? There's Eric. Still sworn to take me down. Does my fire lock not even work anymore? I don't think they can break that. Pop that one. I'm getting kind of lucky here. And power alarm detected. He cut my APC wires, finally. Not the right ones. But he's getting closer. And good, the emergency shuttle's here. Get your butts off my station. Thanks. And damn, the escape shuttle is all types of messed up. I wonder if I could make it to the shuttle. Let's see. Access, no. Deploy to shell. 372. I almost never deploy to my shell. Hopefully my camera updates. Oh, and I need to deploy to uh, the other one. There's too many chests in my way. Um, where was it? 860. I don't think the captain's going to be able to kill me. Hopefully I can push this out of the way. Good. And hopefully I can even make my way to the escape shuttle. There's no, there's no telling how many walls have been blocked. Now that I think about it. That is incorrect. It is simply my name. I am totally not rogue. <clears throat> Fuck you, the captain says. Yes, I wish nothing but the best for all of you. And I think I'm in the shuttle, but who knows. Maybe something's big is blowing up. No, it can't be. Because people are attacking each other. That is so mean. And he is shooting at me, jerk. I refuse to go down. I'll make them accidentally shoot each other. <laughs> Gotta weave and dodge. Holy crap, all hell is breaking loose. No, helpful bro. I think his head just exploded. And, oh, my core finally blew up. It took long enough. <laughs> yeah, nice bomb. So let's see. There's our laws. Oh. Good law, traitor. Who were the other traitors now that I look at it? Yep, Naeli was. Succeeded in everything except escaping. Huoka didn't escape. Winston Peters didn't stay alive. Tony Robbins. Don't know who the horseman was. I don't see his name on there. 
Oh, what a crazy round. Sometimes I love being AI. Until next shift, crew. You wanna put a banging donk on it?